Take a look at the overall records. Monmouth 13 and 11, 8 and 5 in Northeast Conference play. One game better in conference than FDU. Monmouth is 3, FDU tied for 5th at 7 and 6. Look just as fast to get her the ball. She got her own rebound off the miss. Count the follow and 1. Going inside to Gina Brodus. Slipping through two defenders, trying to go over Livermore and got the friendly bounce off the iron. Back to Kennedy, trying to find Paul Vost along the right baseline and she gets it to fall. Andrade speeds it inside to Crawford. Spin move in the right wing and got it to fall. We're tied at 13. Cross court pass, Tebow to Singer, down low to Shaq, who somehow forces it in. Paul Vest gets it to Shaq on the right baseline, and she gets it to drop. In the game uh, the other day, they don't usually have that much zone in their arsenal. Mariah Laurie from the left wing, a long two. It has it. Now Mammoth, the Hawks in transition. Kennedy to Shaq to step inside of the perimeter, no good. Gomez, <laughs> another rebound, and she gets the put back off the square. Join here at halftime with Coach Jen Palmiter. Jen, your defense... Uh, Mariah Lowry has been outstanding tonight. I'm really happy with it. You know, she's still hitting her shots, and we know she will. She's that talented, you know. But what we're trying to do is just make sure that we have a hand in her face on every single shot she takes. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how we're doing in that category right now. now Abby Martin goes out with the, at the 11-minute mark with two fouls, and Chanel Gomez came off and gave your team a big lift off the bench. She really did, you know. And Chanel's got the capability to be huge in every game she plays, you know. Uh, when she focuses on rebounding and playing defense, she can be a really powerful tool for us. And last question. We talked about moving the ball against the zone. Your spacing has been terrific, and your ball movement against their zone has been outstanding. Again, really happy with that, hoping that we can just uh, continue to maybe hit a few more shots out of it. Good luck in the second half. Thanks. With Coach Pete Sinella. Pete, we talked about some of the adjustments Mammoth might make on you. They went to some of their zone. Yeah. You've took a lot of jump shots against their zone. What are some things you're trying to do we differently gotta, against we, that we zone? Gotta, we got to try. We got to make some outside shots. We only hit uh, one outside shot, about 18 footer. We were 0 for 7 on three, so we do have to hit some outside shots, or they're going to keep packing it in. And the other thing is, we got to get more fast break and more hustle plays. Our defense was pretty good. If we held them to fewer second shots, they got 11 offensive rebounds. We probably would have held them to about 20 points, and we'd be right there. So we got to play a little better D and try and get some steals off our defense and get our fast break going. And on offense, we just got to make some outside shots because they're really packing it in on us. We haven't hit. Uh, three in two games against these guys, so we got to find a way to knock in some outside shots. What about Chanel Gomez? Had a surprise the team. She came off their bench, did a terrific job. Well, she's a very good player. Um, she, she hasn't played a lot, but when she comes in, she's about 6'3, six, 6'4, six, and very athletic. She got 6'6 six and six right there in the last three minutes, so she's a very good player. Well, thanks, coach, and good luck with the second half. Oh, thank you. Lori trying to take it herself, oh. and she drives it in to pull FDU within two. Quickly back on defense, harassing Paul Voss. Paul Voss feeds it inside. Nice drop down to Gajawa along the left baseline, high off the glass and in. Weaving her way through traffic, Panky uh. had a look. Didn't get the initial attempt, but FDU with the follow, count the basket, plus one. We Paul Vest in the right corner. Gets it to Martin, nice pass left baseline. Checked, rattles around the iron and falls through. Quick inbounds, quick look for Womack, it rattles out. Martin with another rebound and she muscles it in, plus the foul. A big offensive forward off of the free throw line. Tebow with an open oh. look. She lines it up and connects. Slip a little bit of a margin. FDU answers right back. Tebow again from the right side. And now it definitely is Tebow time as she connects again. First, one minute to go. Mammoth by three. Martin in the left quarter. Tebow three on the way. It's good. Great ball movement. Great recognition to find Tebow open and... Big time shot from Carly Tebow. Game, FDU down six. Lori on the drive. Oh. And it falls. Gravity on her side. That cuts the deficit to four with 17.9 to go. Four point advantage plus the basketball with 6.8 seconds remaining. Kennedy got it on the inbounds and she's immediately fouled. She makes both. Two possession game. 64-58 with six seconds. The Knights needing to go the length of the floor. Mariah Laurie, clock not on FDU's side right here. She drives in. She gets the layup with point one to go. Mammoth an inbound pass away from claiming the Governor Cody Cup. I'm joined now with uh, Carly Tebow, our player of the game. And Carly, you came off the bench and really sparked your team in the second half with your three-point shooting. Yeah, I mean, my teammates set me up for some great shots. And, um, I mean, it's really because they 
we're closing in our post and closing in our other guards driving, so they set me up for some open looks. Your bench did such a fantastic job. As a player coming off this, how do you keep yourself ready to get ready to get into a game? Um, well, it's something I, I, I started at the start of the season when Alicia Womack was hurt, and uh, when she came back, it was just I, we needed a spark, and I, I'll do whatever it, has, whatever it takes to help this team win. So, Congratulations on a great win tonight. Thank you. A much needed victory. Uh, we talked uh, we talked before the game about your defense, and tonight you went to a little bit of zone. Really was a difference for you in this game tonight. It really was. You know, I mean, after the first time, they were a really tough team. They have some uh, tough matchups for us because they're very quick. And so I felt like uh, we did a, a decent enough job in our zone just to keep them off balance. Luckily, they missed a few, you know, pretty open shots, but uh, just kept them off balance a little bit, I think. You know, when Womack was out, you really had a chance to play some different players, and your bench tonight with Gomez and Tebow really came through for you. They were huge. They were really huge, you know. I mean, I was kind of joking with Carly in the first half. She had some good open looks and missed, you know. Uh, so after the ones that she hit second half, I said, I guess we'll still keep you. <laughs> yeah, that kind of bench will really help you. Now, you, you held Lowry in check, but I thought it was your, your rebounding, and your, your finishing of the defensive play that really made a difference tonight. You know, we did a good job with that, and that's something that we have to continually work on uh, for us. It's a key to a lot of what we do um, on the offensive end and on the defensive end. So I was really, really pleased with the overall team effort on the boards today. Congratulations and great win for your squad. Thanks, Bill.